What's up everyone, this is Odd Talk is Tech, and Apple just released the iOS 11.3 Beta 4 to developers. Let's get started. Okay, so I just want to let all of you know that I have been gone for about a week, and I've been uploading about once to two, three times a week, and I'm very unhappy with the way I've been uploading. It's mainly because I'm so busy and stuff with school, and it's coming to the end of the quarter, so spring break is right around the corner, and I'm going to upload so much during that time period because I'll have free time, so don't worry, I got awesome videos planned. And on top of that, I have a major, major surprise for when we reach 10,000 subs. Anyways... Let's get that out of the way. Let's get started with this beta update. So the first interesting change is Apple now changed the name of iBooks back to iBooks. So in the previous update, it was just called Books. Now, back in iOS 6, it was called iBooks. Same with iOS 7 and 8 and 9. But for whatever reason, Apple changed it to just Books. But now it's back to iBooks. So Apple's going back to their old ways. Not really a significant change, but kind of strange. Also, Apple has been working on an offline series, so if you guys don't know, back with the iPhone 4, Apple introduced something called voice control, which is basically you can use your voice to skip songs, raise the volume, things like that. You don't need Wi-Fi for it. And then back when Apple released the iPhone 4S, that's when Siri was released, when you could use like Wi-Fi and stuff to ask Siri to search things on the internet. It's pretty cool, but they've always been two separate things. So in this update, Apple has been working on that but they haven't made it available yet. So we will see it soon in a few more updates, some form of an offline Siri. It's also rumored that we will see some new battery information on this page. So maybe some graphs, more data, at least on our battery. Now, some people were reporting that they actually lost a percentage. So for example, their, bat their iPhone battery capacity was at 100% and now it's at 99%. For me, in my case, in the last beta, it was actually 79%, and now it's 80%, so that means it's gone up. So, I think that's pretty cool, but I don't really use this device, so I don't really care. But maybe that's just a glitch. I don't know. So, that's really bad for today. Not really much in this new update, just a lot of potential upcoming features. Anyways, that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.